Greetings and salutations to all of you beautiful people out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another installment of Counter Reaction. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at Diana or Diana. Somebody did spell it out phonetically for me. I forgot. I'm sorry. Anku Dinova. Uh, performing Wicked Game. Now, this does say age 15. I could have swore she was 14 in the last one. She might have been 15. Either this is a different show or she had a birthday in between performances. Uh, either way, I'm pretty excited for it. Very, very, very unique talent. I don't know how she does it. I don't know where she came from, but I'm glad she's here. I really, really am. I'm glad she's on planet Earth to share her talents with us all. Uh, the first one, I... I didn't know how to put it into words. I don't think I've ever heard a voice like that. <clears throat> there were a few notes where I'm like, oh, that kind of sounds like, but everything else, like the vast majority of her performance was uniquely her own. And uh, I, I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love on the first video. I'm not a vocal coach. I'm just a music snob um, with a large frame of reference. Um, just a, a normal guy here in Southern California. Um, yeah, I know I don't look it, but I am Mexican American. Don't let the, the light skin and the blue eyes fool you. But um, but yeah, either way, I, I really I really do appreciate you all for showing a lot of love on that first video. So I'm excited for this one. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Before we continue, the song title, I'm not sure if I know this song. It says original by Chris Isaac. I do have a pretty large frame of reference, but Chris Isaac, either it's a, he's a one hit wonder or he's the writer and he wrote it for another big artist. I have no idea. So. like she's whispering these notes in my ear it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it's a little uh what's the right word to use it's hauntingly beautiful that's what it is um okay and i think i do know this song is it i'm trying to figure out the the chorus when we get there i'll tell you whether or not i know the song She is, uh, man, she's on a different level. She really is. What a unique, unique voice. It's beautiful. Class. Whoa. Make me feel this way. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Whew. Wow. That's, that's some next level talent. I wonder how she accomplishes that. It has to be this innate intrinsic quality that she possesses. It has to be. Because it's it sounds like it's... It's like it's uniquely her own. I can't explain it. I'm sure most people can't explain it. So I'm not in the minority here, right? Wow. 
Wow. Okay. I'm invested now. Like the last one, right? It's solid. Execution. Great. Up until the point to where she does these modulations with her voice and it's like, what is this? What is going on? I've never heard anything like this before. So, yeah. Yeah. But I will say, when the, the singing is so good, even when she's not, you know, utilizing her special talent uh, when it comes to the modulation. And honestly, I don't even know if that's like the right word to actually use to describe it. Um, but yeah, when the first gentleman pressed the button, I would have pressed it too. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I react to a lot of really special talent on this show. And I would have, I mean, I don't know who else is in this competition or whatever this is but it was solid enough to know like oh no she's got to go to the next round for sure but anyways let's continue what we getting to do to let me dream of you what we getting to say wow She sees it. She hears it. To go from those hauntingly beautiful notes into these more angelic runs and fluctuations in her voice is... It's amazing. Amazing transitions. Amazing transitions. I love this. This is great. This is great. I do know the original. I'm trying to figure out how it, how it sounds. Like the original voice. I'll have to check afterwards, but this is this is amazing. I like this more than the first one that I reacted to. This is on on a different level. This is on a completely different level in my in my personal opinion. So the instrumentation, it changes, obviously, because the song evolves, right? And it's more jungle-esque, right? Like the drums are. And then she does that little yodel thing that kind of reminds me of Tarzan. It's like, it's very fitting. Very fitting. I love that. That's That was a beautiful little touch there. I'm sure that was, that was planned. Uh, it, it had to have been. I'm rewinding that. It's like very African like instrument. I love I love that. I love that. That's great. Great job. Great job. That was great. I love that. I love that. Wow. Okay. Where does uh, where does this one go? Does, does this make a YouTube playlist? As some of you guys may know, I do a no list, playlist, blacklist segment on this channel. Now, covers and performances don't typically go on a playlist. Now, if they do, it's a YouTube playlist so I can re-watch it. When I re-watch this... Yeah, no, I would, I would rewatch this. I would rewatch this. I would show my daughter. I'd show a few other people as well. Uh, that was great. That was great. On to the next one. I'm excited. What's the next one? You guys tell me. I don't know what the next one's going to be. You guys are the professionals. You guys are the fans. You let me know what you guys want me to react to. I don't know why I did that like that, but I did. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It is greatly appreciated, and I do hope to catch you all on the next one.